In this lesson, we will be using a formula method to determine something that is called underload. Underload is defined as the difference between the allowable traffic load and the actual traffic load. Practically, it represents any spare capacity that may be available for loading onto the aeroplane at the last minute, without any limitations being exceeded. To calculate the underload, it is necessary to first calculate the maximum allowable traffic load, then calculate the actual traffic load for the flight, and subtract one from the other to give the underload. A reminder of the definition for traffic load and the formula for underload can be seen on screen. Before we can determine the underload, we have to first calculate the limiting allowable traffic load. Four formulas are used and the lowest of the four solutions of structural, takeoff, landing traffic load and taxi ramp mass will be the allowable limit. The four formulas on screen must be learnt and recalled when required. Note the fourth will only be limiting if the taxi fuel is greater than the difference between the maximum structural ramp mass and the maximum structural takeoff mass. A golden rule to follow when using the formulas is to first determine both the takeoff fuel mass and the fuel remaining on landing. On screen, you will see an example of obtaining the required fuel data. Starting with a block ramp fuel of 32,200 kg, we now subtract the start taxi fuel of 500 kg. This gives us a takeoff fuel of 31,700 kg. The trip fuel is 9,000 kg, and we must subtract this from the takeoff fuel which gives a fuel remaining of 22,700 kg. Let us now work through a complete example of calculating the underload using the formula method given all the relevant data. A table of all the necessary data is shown on screen. To make it easy, we will do this in three steps. Step 1 will be the golden rule of working out the fuel state, followed by step 2, the limiting traffic load, which includes the dry operating mass, and finally, step 3, the underload. For the first step, we must apply the golden rule of working out the fuel state first, and this is done by constructing a table of the fuel data, starting, in this case, with the block ramp fuel of 12,900 kg. Now enter the start taxi fuel of 400 kg and subtract it from the block ramp fuel, which gives the takeoff fuel of 12,500 kg. The trip fuel of 9,500 kg must be subtracted from the takeoff fuel of 12,500 kg. This gives us a fuel remaining on landing of 3,000 kg. Before we can find the limiting traffic load, which is step 2, we must know the dry operating mass. We can use a formula for this from our previous lesson on definitions, which is operating mass equals dry operating mass plus takeoff fuel. Changing the formula round, the dry operating mass equals operating mass minus takeoff fuel. Extracting the operating mass of 47,500 kg from the data table and subtracting the takeoff fuel of 12,500 kg gives us a dry operating mass of 35,000 kg. Now we can proceed with step 2 to construct a table and use the three formulas to find the maximum allowable traffic load. In the table at row 1, enter the maximum zero fuel mass of 52,000 kg and subtract from it the dry operating mass of 35,000 kg to equal 17,000 kg. 
Now we can enter in row 2 the regulated takeoff mass of 63,500 kg and subtract the dry operating mass of 35,000 and the takeoff fuel of 12,500 kg, which equals 16,000 kg. Next, we can enter the details in row 3 the regulated landing mass of 57,000 kg and subtract from it the dry operating mass of 35,000 kg and the fuel remaining on landing of 3,000 kg, which equals 19,000 kg. Looking at the three maximum allowable traffic load calculations, we can see that the lowest mass of 16,000 kg is the limiting allowable load. We can now extract from the table the data which will make up the actual traffic load. The actual traffic load is the sum of the passenger load mass, 11,760 kg, the baggage, 1,820 kg, and the cargo, 500 kg, giving a total mass of 14,080 kg. Finally, we have all of the information to complete step 3, calculating the underload which is the actual traffic load of 14,080 kg subtracted from the allowable traffic load of 16,000 kg, which gives us an underload mass of 1,920 kg.